Hey everybody, let's talk about ordering the Apple Vision Pro, how I did it, how I got it the same day, this beautiful new toy that I can't wait to unbox. That'll be uh, part two, but for now, let's go through the ordering process and see if it's right for you. Let's get into the ordering process. Now this is on my iPhone 15 Pro. You can do this on any iPhone or iPad as long as you have decent lighting and the camera. Now here's the now iconic model showing off the VR goggles, which Apple won't admit they are. The first step is to do your f head and face scan. And if you're in the Apple ecosystem, you already know how to do this because this is what you do for face ID. So it's just back, forth, up and down a couple times. Um, at least a couple times mine, I did the first one off center a little bit. Now, when you get into the store, plan ahead to spend some time there, uh, at least, I'd say at least 30 minutes because you get in and they wanna actually fit in person with real goggles and then confirm that the measurements match what were provided in these scans. And then of course, there's also a demo they wanna do for you with your goggles and it takes some time to put the kit together, whatever that entails. So, and here's the readers and prescription lenses. You wanna get a hold of your optometrist if you don't know your measurements for your eyes. Uh, in my case, I did uh, uh, over-the-counter readers. So 1.75, selected that range, and that's it. It adds it to your bag, as Apple calls it, or as everyone else in the world calls it, a uh, shopping cart. So then uh, next step is storage. Now, I wasn't sure what to do here. Uh, you can't go back. After you buy them, you can't upgrade. So you'll wanna plan ahead. My phone has 512. I haven't hit 512 yet. So I was comfortable with leaving it at that. And then of course, uh, Apple Care. Now in my case, uh, these I think are going back in 14 days. That's the return window. I'm gonna test them out. Of course, there's a chance I'll want to keep them. We'll see. And that's what I'm going to bring to you is whether they're worth getting. So I guess we're going to find out. So I did the Apple Care monthly. You'll save $100 if you do it up front, though, all in one shot. Uh, it's like $500, something like that, or $25 a month. So here's the accessories that they upsell you on. Um, the travel case is pretty expensive, $199 for a travel case, but not unusual for Apple products. I foresee there's going to be third party options out there, you know, so that's something you may want to do later. There is a, there's a, the battery, uh, there's some cables. The Magic Keyboard's intriguing because, you know, that's how you're going to be productive. You know, a keyboard and mouse. My understanding is regular Bluetooth mice, at least at this point, don't work. Use the Magic Mouse. And then, of course, it's checkout time. First time around, this was February 2nd, the release date, and there were none available in stores, even though it had said up front that they would be available starting, starting February 2nd. So it was really disappointing, but also kind of a relief because I thought I won't be spending $4,100, maybe I'll just skip it. I didn't want to wait three weeks to bring videos out on these, so I decided to skip it that night. Well, I couldn't help myself. The next day I went in, went back into my car, did check out, and sure enough, they're available in all stores in Colorado. You know, I don't know about the rest of the country when they came out, whether it was on the second or third, but Colorado had them and uh, I couldn't help myself. So I selected a date and time. Again, plan ahead for that uh, 30 minutes at least so that you don't feel rushed and they can give you a, a good demo of the product in store. Although afterwards they invited me to a virtual appointment with a rep where I can uh, demo them. So then usual, I'll agree to terms. I go to do Apple Pay like I always do. It's super convenient. Um, gosh, they make it too easy. Uh, you know, it's linked to a couple of my cards. So I select the card that uh, I think is not gonna bounce that amount of money. Well, so it was what? Uh, with tax, 4,100, 24 and declined. That's because uh, uh, my bank suspected fraud. So that's Chase. They 
they were actually it was super easy to resolve. I typed yes here. Sometimes I worry, is it gonna charge a second time? Then it'd be $8,100 against my account. But no, in this case, um, it said uh, try it the second time and um, go back through the order process, or sorry, the shopping cart um, pay now. And I did that and it worked and there I am, ready for my appointment that day. I couldn't wait to get into the store, but I had some other family stuff. So I, I did have to wait. So hopefully uh, this was useful to you so you can see what the process is and I'm going to bring you more videos, uh, the unboxing, trying out some apps and we're going to see if it's worth buying. Do I bring it back? Do I not bring it back? Do you think you want it? You know, is it appealing to you? I'm not sponsored so I'm going to give you the real deal on whether this is something that's worthwhile or not. Alright, thanks for watching.